Welcome to the final 2023 season edition of the Expert Analysis here on NewOrleansSaints.com. I'm John DeShazer. As always, we are brought to you by Microsoft Surface. Now, the Saints ended the season in a best way possible, a 48-17 victory over the division rival of Atlanta Falcons at the Caesars Superdome on Sunday. And of course, we're going to give you an offensive play out of that game because there were so many offensive plays to choose from. We think we chose the best one, but here's the setup. Now the Saints are second and 11 at the Falcons 26 yard line. They're there because on the third play of the second half, Alante Taylor, cornerback, intercepts Atlanta quarterback Desmond Ritter. He returns it to the 25. On first down, the Saints lose the yard, so that's how they get to second and 11 in this situation. There's 13.08 left in the quarter. And again, second and 11. And the guys you want to pay attention to right here is receiver Chris Olave. Of course, you have to have great protection on any pass play. And quarterback Derek Carr, who's going to make a perfect throw on this. Now we're going to let it run a little bit. And we're going to freeze right here because Olave is in a one on one situation because here is A.T. Perry and he's going to draw the attention from that safety. So that safety is going to devote himself to A.T. Perry in the middle, and that's going to leave Olave one on one on the outside. And Olave is going to make a great, great play. We're going to let it go. And we're going to freeze right here. Now the corner has his head turned toward the football, but he's going to lose track because he's going to turn his head again. Meanwhile, Alave has his eyes on the ball and the ball basically is thrown at the back of the cornerback's head. So he's going to lose track of it and Alave is going to make a spectacular play. We're going to let it go. Bounce, bobble, catch, touchdown and look at the corner. Still doesn't know where the ball is because it's a perfect throw and a perfect catch. Chris Alave has to juggle a little bit, bat it to himself, comes down with the touchdown. Saints go up. 24 to 17 at this point. And we're gonna show it to you from another angle so you can see the protection. And you're also gonna see how Alave really detects that he's got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Now Derek Carr right here is going to signal, he's already signaled for Alave to come across the formation. And the cornerback comes with him. That allows him to know that there's a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Of course, you have to have great protection, but Carr's gonna get rid of the ball so quickly that the protection really doesn't play into this one a whole lot but he's going to make that perfect throw that we talked about. We're going to let it go. You'll see Olave come across. You see the corner following him. And we'll freeze it right here. Because again, corner has his head turned to the ball, but he's turned on the inside. When he tries to spin around to the outside, the ball basically lands on the back of his head and Olave makes the catch. We're going to let it go. Right there on top of him, Olave with the catch, the touchdown. Cornerback has no idea where the ball was because he got his head turned around a little bit late. Alave with the touchdown. Saints go up 24-17 in route to a 48-17 victory. And that is your final and happy expert analysis from the Saints season finale against the Atlanta Falcons.